Hey guys, Sean Bougie, surplusfundsriches.net. How do we decide who to allow to work programs from us and get paid on them, by the way, for free and in ahead of everybody else as we're refining the process? How do we do that, right? So work ethic is pretty straightforward. Are they consistently turning in files now in one of the programs they got from us? That's pretty straightforward. Are they consistently turning in files? Not turning in five and then complaining about not getting paid. I mean, consistently turning in files, right? <laughs> work ethic. Second thing we look at, second thing we look at is can they follow direction? And that's pretty easy for us to measure. Did they open a ton of support tickets that were already answered in the program had they read it, right? Or did they read through everything, follow the directions, apply it as it's written, and you support only when there's something that's kind of outside of what the program details. Hey, we got no problem giving you guys support and answering any questions, but we've had people actually answer, ask like five questions in a row, rapid fire. And it, you could tell by the way they were asking them, they were uh, reading the first couple of pages and asking a question that was answered the next page. And then they're re same thing over and over and over again. Can they apply the material? Do they have a good work ethic? Are they gonna apply the material? Third one is team player. And the way we measure that is, hey, if I've paid somebody out on one of the programs and they're willing to do a minute to a minute and a half video and put that together for us, a testimonial on exactly what was happening, no, no fluff, just their first name, minute, minute and a half. Hey, here's what I did. Here's how much I made. And by the way, we're going to check that. We're not going to take a fake testimonial from somebody. Um, and of course, you have to have the program to give us a testimonial. <laughs> but are they willing to do that? Are they willing to take that time to do that? Because that's major team player and that's very important to us, right? Now the final thing, and these are the four pillars of things that we look for in these individuals, is are they a self-starter? Are they consistently turning stuff in? We can see that with work ethic too. But on a self-starter, are they complaining about, I ran into this one thing and I'm just gonna wait and see what happens with that? Or are they just moving on and continuing to put deals out there, right? Are they, are they finding it with our direction but are they finding deals to put together and to send to us or not? Pretty straightforward. We do this for pretty much every program we've done. We have actually beta tested stuff ourselves, but we like involving other folks because then we get an idea of not only does the program work, because we can find that out ourselves, right? But can we train it? Can we teach someone else to do it? So that's how we do it, guys. And we have, uh, we got a program hitting January of, um, a new one, January of 20, I'm not going to go into details, of 2025, uh, that's going to be very hot, and then 2026, we have another one, and that's the one right now, we've got a heavy, heavy beta, or rather beta, <laughs> tester involved with that one right now, um, but that's how we do it, guys, that's how we rate it, and that is how we give people a head start over everybody else for free with beta testing our programs. Thanks, guys.